It's a simple yet powerful expression, a smile. But for one war hero, he wasn't proud to show his for years. Well, that is until he got connected to a San Antonio dentist who gave him his confidence back. Today is a day Sergeant James Weinhold has been waiting for. His fourth and final treatment here at Advanced Smile Care. They're going to be nice and white and straight, and I'm going to walk out of here more confident, with a good smile. Positivity. Dr. Jason Kabuti has helped restore his upper front teeth with porcelain veneers and crowns. I feel like it's kind of the least we can do. Weinhold wasn't able to receive dental care for years. He was in the Army Special Forces and served six tours overseas. Oh, and you're doing deployment after deployment, and you keep going over there, the last thing you think about is your teeth. In combat, it's like staying alive and completing the mission. That's the only two things you're worried about. He also regularly chewed tobacco to stay awake on night patrols. As a result of all that, his teeth suffered. I could talk to people, but I would never want to smile at people because I didn't want them to see my teeth. But through Rebuilding America Warriors, a nonprofit that provides free reconstructive surgery to the military. I like it. He's able to receive $10,000 right. worth of treatment at no Thank cost. You, our troops do a lot for our country and we're really proud of the fact that we can help them and they deserve to be smiling and we're glad that we can help them get to that. You know, people all the time say thank you for your service, but it's now my turn to say thank you to these like organizations. You know, our teeth, it's something we take granted for. Well, take it's, for it's yeah. true. Exactly. Yeah, and uh, first impressions count. Granted for. Granted yeah. for, it yes. Works. It works. Right. But it, really, if you have yeah. a nice smile and Absolutely. you know have had good teeth, it's like, you just don't think about it twice. Hey, I, you know, talking to him, though, you wanted to talk special forces, didn't you? Oh. I did, but, you know, he didn't want to talk about it. I hear you. It. Yeah. You know, a lot, a lot of times they don't. You know, my father-in-law, same way, Navy SEAL, doesn't really talk about mm -hmm. it.